Uh, tell me this. You know, you play the bass. That's not one of those. You, usually, you hear about people. That's not maybe the first instrument that they pick up. Was was that a matter of necessity? Maybe your first band, the guy already had a guitar player in the band, or did you always want to play bass? Um, I was I was just really good at it. Um, I you know I tried out in lab band when I was like seventh grade or something like that, and you had to have all these chords, and every beat it was a chord change. And I was like, no, no, no. Um, let's try the bass. See if you know I can do that a lot a lot better, and then. So the bass is my primary, you know, um, uh, my primary weapon. Um, <laughs> I still play guitar all the time. I have a guitar sitting around the house and, and play just nonstop when, you know, when I can. And um, um, or when the time fits, you know, I, I want to come up with a riff here or something like that. And, and um, But uh, definitely bass is, is, is where I... Uh, made my mark so right. to say right absolutely well um 2004 we lost dimebag daryl and and you know we all know him as a great guitar player but i mean this guy was the best man in your wedding right so yeah so tell me this what, what do you remember about him as a person oh just how lol and and um and um always had your back on everything and just just giving you know just caring and giving, it didn't, didn't matter if it was some guy on the side of the street he would take his shirt off for. And literally, he would do that. It's not it's not just a metaphor. Um, it's, um, you know, Dom was just a, it was a brother, you know? Right. Um, that's all I can say. Right, and you can you can hear him it in his... It seems to get harder every year that, he, that he's not around, you know? You keep thinking he's going to be around, and he's, he's not. Right. But um, that's life, my friend. Right. Well, we still got the music. That's for sure. We can. absolutely. That's what um, you know. We're not trying to. Uh, we're not trying to make any big bucks off this thing. We just want the the music to be, you know, a part of a legacy that that uh, that he helped help design and and uh, you know, of course, that we all were a part of. So right. Absolutely. So so tell me what uh, what you've been up to recently. You got a you got a new project you're working on, Arms of the Sun, is that right? I got a new project called called Arms of the Sun and uh, I'm in the middle of mixing. We've got three songs. Uh, my uh, next door neighbor ha- just so happens to have a studio in his house. <laughs> and um, so I walk out the door about 50 paces and go and check out mixes when he's kind of done with them. In fact, I have to do that as soon as I get off the phone. Cool. But uh yeah, we're we're uh, right in the middle of uh, doing that, and we get a master this following week, and we'll be done. We uh, we did this this for uh, kind of a production kind of deal, where they put it in, into uh, um, put it in mo- t- motion pictures and, and TV and the whole bit. And really? Like okay. Wherever placement music goes. Okay. Um, wrote about thirteen songs. Had Terry Date uh, record and mix it. And um, and so right now we're we're making uh, we went down and wrote some more songs and uh, we took half of the ones that we used for the production side and uh, and wrote another six seven for um, for this other one so it's going to be uh, full length uh, here out shortly we're we're trying to get out by the end of the year but it's kind of pushing it right um, so anyway but. Uh, it's it's totally different music than what I'm used to. If you're list, you know, if you if you're looking for for this to be heavy thrash or anything like that, it's not. It's it's more of a it's more just down down home good old rock and roll um, without being cheesy. It's got its own little texture to it. It's like the Beatles on acid through uh, through Marshalls. You know, <laughs> I like it. That's cool. Totally cool. I totally want to hear anything like that. Yeah, that- Check it out. So, if, if people want to hear, are you going to be posting tracks or anything like that? You got any samples of that? Can people? Yeah, we actually just go to armsofthesun dot com. Okay, uh, all small caps, all one word. Okay, and uh, that's that's got and that, those are fixing to come down too. So, um, you might want to get to it quickly. You were, you and Phil were doing the down thing for a while, and and you haven't put out a record since two thousand seven. Is there any kind of something in the works for another down CD? Yeah, we've got uh, we got three three or four in the can. Um, we went let's see um, a month and a half ago. I went down and we got uh, wrote about uh, we we still have a whole bunch of riffs that was left over, but we're trying to start it new. So I would say we have probably have six total. Okay. What we're gonna do is like start putting these into bundles where you know we put.
put out the like three or four songs for six ninety nine or whatever, and then the artwork will all be each time you buy these individual discs, it it all the artwork will all turn into one and the same. Oh, cool! Nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, absolutely. Pretty, pretty cool. That's a nice people. idea. Well, I mean, um, and that's that's the thing. You have to buy the whole bunch for it to be, you know, for it to be kind of in the artwork of where it's going to be. With right. A little, little folder kind of deal. Right. No, that's Pretty cool. Pretty cool. No, that's excellent. So people can uh, find out more about you. you got a, you know, your personal website, rexbrown.net. Is that right? Yeah, correct. Okay, cool. And they can stay on top that, of That'll get you the links to wherever you need to go. Okay. Great, great, great. Well, I, I appreciate you talking to us, man. Good luck on the... the it's it's a it's great package. Three CD set, 20th anniversary of Cowboys from Hell. And uh, I appreciate you... Well, thank uh, you, Tony. Appreciate it, man. Tripping down memory lane for us, all right? All right. Rex Brown of Pantera there, the new 20th anniversary edition of Cowboys from Hell. Three CDs is uh, available in uh, record stores now. And you can go to our website, iconfetch.com, click on the Pantera review that we've done for Cowboys from Hell, and uh, you can buy the CD right there. Now, that's, that's not the only edition of that album that's coming out. For the really crazy Pantera fans, they have the ultimate edition of Cowboys from Hell coming in late November. This thing has all three CDs that we just mentioned, plus a bunch of other goodies, including uh, reproductions of some of the flyers from back in the day, a poster, a t-shirt, a fabric sticker, a button, a backstage pass, and uh, a replica of one of the tickets from back in the day, too. So uh, pretty neat, the ultimate edition of Pantera's Cowboys from Hell coming out at the end of of November. And coming up here real soon, we'll be talking to a new singer-songwriter, Jim Wolf. He hails from the same hometown as John Mayer, and in fact, Jim's older brother played with John Mayer in high school in a band. But Jim's making his own way with his new CD called Sleeping with Strangers, and we'll be talking to Jim Wolf here real soon on Icon Fetch. English rockers Squeeze have a new record out called Spot the Difference, where they've re-recorded their old hits. We'll be talking to guitarist Chris Difford of Squeeze on a future edition. Martin Briley, best known for a song called Salt in My Tears, but Martin also wrote hits for lots of other people and uh, has a rather interesting view of the music industry. We'll be talking to Martin Briley here real soon. There's a new book out called Record Store Days, and it chronicles the the history of the record stores and also uh, the demise of what's kind of happened to them in the last few years and some of the record stores that are still fighting the good fight. We'll be talking to one of the authors of that. Coming up here real soon, Dwight Twilley, best known for a couple of number 16 hits, I'm on Fire from 1975 and Girls from 1984. Dwight Twilley's got a new CD coming out. We'll be talking to him. Remember the Toadies? They had a mid-90s hit called Possum Kingdom, and then they disappeared. Well, they actually tried to follow that up with a new album, but the record company rejected it. So here it is. All these years later, they're finally putting out the record that should have been many years ago called Feeler. And we'll be talking to one of the guys from the Toadies on a future edition of the show as well. And as always, make sure you check out our website, iconfetch.com. There you can hear all the interviews that we've done anytime, day or night. Plus, we've got a growing list of new CDs that are out, plus our take on some of the classic CDs as well. This day in music history, you can even buy concert tickets from our website as well, iconfetch.com. And also, if you want to get a hold of me and you got any questions or comments, Drop me a line. It's host at iconfetch.com. I am Tony Peters. Thanks for listening.